In this video, we are going to be proving the derivative for the inverse of cotangent function, which is equal to negative 1 over 1 plus x squared. So for starters, we are going to let the inverse of cotangent x be equal to y. Therefore, by definition, cotangent of y will be equal to x. And we know the definition for the cotangent function of any angle within a right triangle is equal to the adjacent side relative to angle theta divided by the opposite side relative to angle theta. In other words, it is the reciprocal of the tangent definition in a right triangle. Therefore, if we construct a right triangle, and I assume one of the angles to be y, that means the adjacent side relative to angle y will be x, the opposite side will be 1, and the hypotenuse will be therefore the square root of 1 plus x squared. And this comes straight out of the Pythagorean theorem, which says that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, and b being two legs of a right triangle, c being the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Therefore, we can find the hypotenuse of a right triangle to be equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the two legs of the right triangle, hence obtaining the square root of 1 plus x squared as the hypotenuse of a right triangle. And what we can now do is take the derivative on both sides of the equation, cotangent of y is equal to x, to obtain negative cosecant squared of y times y prime is equal to 1. Therefore, we can rearrange this equation to get y prime is equal to negative 1 over cosecant squared of y, which is equal to negative sine squared of y. And this will also be equal to the derivative for the inverse of cotangent function of x. And the reason why for this is because we previously assumed the inverse of cotangent x to be y. Therefore, we take the prime on both sides, or in other words, we take the derivative on both sides. y prime will be equal to the prime of the inverse of cotangent x, hence making this equation true. And negative sine squared y, we can apply the definition for the sine function within a right triangle, which is the sine of any angle of theta will be equal to the opposite side relative to angle theta divided by the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Therefore, sine of y angle will be equal to the opposite side, 1 divided by the hypotenuse, 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared. We can s substitute this quantity for sine of y into our equation to get negative parentheses, 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared, squared, which is equal to negative 1 over 1 plus x squared, hence proving the derivative for the inverse of cotangent function to be negative 1 over 1 plus x squared.